Brew time. I was down here early. <laughs> right, let me get a brew. Come back to you. Cheers. I just tried to move it downwind, but the wind keeps changing direction. So, anyway, this morning the focus has been on uh, harvesting, picking soft fruit in particular. So, got some really nice black currants there. These are the uh, some of the Logan berries, and we've got another tub full of Monch too. All the gooseberries are harvested now and the raspberries are, uh, I've had about 12 pound or so I guess. So every other day or three days, something like that. Well it's been quite a good morning really. Um, got the um, soft fruit as I said before. And um, I've been working quite a lot in the greenhouse removing a lot of the foliage from the crimson crush the uh, from with all the trusses and um, I'll just show you I've been cutting all the new growths off these gooseberry bushes I'm going to actually dig them out and then plan is probably in the middle there one of those Loganberry plants that are tip layered last year. I'm going to put one of those probably about there, and then that side can link into this post and wire structure. And I'll put another post somewhere around there, so hopefully, those will all connect up. We'll have a really nice big long row of um, loganberries, and then the other one I'll take that over to the micro orchard and plant it over there I guess. So yeah, uh, task this afternoon then is dig those out. I've got another two just around here actually. I need to remove those as well. got far too many. I don't need these. So I'll probably do the same, just remove all the growths. My new cold frame is going to go in this bit here and I don't know, I might just I haven't decided what to do with that gap yet, but I think it does take quite a lot of nutrients from this side of the raised bed, so it's probably just as well to take that out. So we've got some plans for this afternoon, so I'll take the fruit home and uh, show you what I've been doing in here. You can see, got some nice um, trusses forming on. These crimson crush, they look good. Can't wait to try one. I'm gonna have to wait a little while yet, but anyway, they're doing okay. Right, catch you later. Well, we're into the afternoon session. Uh, I've got one of the gooseberry bushes out. Pretty much most of the roots, I think. There might be another one, a few in, but they'll be mostly under the uh, membrane so it isn't going to matter really. So I'll push on see if we can get that one out and then we'll have a bit of a tidy up and see where we can uh, put this loganberry uh, plant. So I'll come back to you. Okay well that one came out fairly quickly actually Again, I think I've got most of the roots. I find that the pickaxe is the best way to grub them out quickly. So as I say, I'll get uh, tidied up a little bit and then have a think on where I'm going to put this sloganberry.